Uh, well, obviously it's a totally different team from last year, um, but they've been playing with a little bit more fast pace. They're playing a lot of small ball, and uh, you know, obviously they will coach. Uh, coach Bo was a very good coach. Those guys are always prepared. And, uh, you know, Paul George <coughs> spearheaded it all, and uh, Monte and George Hill, and the rest of those guys kind of fall into place. So uh, it should be a good matchup for us. Uh, well, we want to defend for sure. That's our number one staple. Um, but, you know, when you create more possessions, there's more opportunities for the opponents to score as well. When you play a slower pace, then you know there's not going to be as many possessions, so the team can't score. So, um, you know, obviously, you know that's always our focus. Our main focus is to defend, and to get stops, um, and uh, you know, but we have to have, uh, we always have that mindset. You know, we want to get stops first because it'll allow uh, you know, what we're trying to transition into even more a uh, uh, greater thing for us, and that's uh, getting on running. Oh, I mean, for me, I always like competing against some of the best in our league, and uh, you know, PG um, you know, has been there um, you know, for the most part over you know, his career, and uh, you know, just seeing his growth over the years has been great. And, uh, seeing him back at his, uh, at his all-star caliber player after the Olympic injury, uh, I think that's even great. LeBron, in terms of leadership, and this is in regards to the Pacers, is it is it important to only have one leader, or can you have several leaders? And if you're not a natural-born leader, do you see where a player can become a leader? Um, I think it's always great to have more than one leader. Um, and all leaders lead by different ways. Um, you know, different facets. I'm leading by different tones, voices, commands. Um, you know, but it's great to have multiple guys around that can uh, that can lead. Uh, and it has to be natural for you, and you can't force it on someone until they're ready. Other than the seat that he sits on the bench, and I guess dealing with the media more, do you see any differences in Tehran in the last week as the head coach versus the assist being assistant? Uh, uh, no, not much. I mean, obviously his voice is more the command now. You know, when you're the head coach, you you got to be more in command and uh, you know hold guys more accountable. You know, that's part of your, I guess that's part of your job, and he's doing a great job with that. And you know, for us, we're just uh, listening to his voice and you know. Uh, holding his commands accountable and going out and playing. Is it strange at all being coached by a guy you used to play against? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, you know, I mean, I was coached, uh, you know, in Miami by Juwan Howard at one point as my assistant, and uh, I played against him. I actually played with him in Miami, and I was coached by him. So, uh, you know, when you get up in years in this league, that's nothing out of the ordinary.